New at 6, University of Alabama administrators now consider the capstone the nation's leader in water-related research. Land leaders there recently held a ceremony for the grand opening of a new federal facility that will allow access for UA faculty and students. Your Tuscaloosa reporter Kelvin Reynolds joins us live now with details on how this is moving the university forward like never before. Kelvin, good morning. Hey, Mike, good morning to you as well. The University of Alabama welcomed visitors to the U.S. Geological Survey's brand new instrumentation facility on the UA campus. It's a big deal and a really big building. A lot of folks showed up to see what the big news was all about. Then they got a chance to tour the big building. It's more than 92,000 square feet. The facility plays a key role in advancing water-related research. It's also going to coordinate federal agencies when responding to water hazards like flooding as well as storm surge. A team of 50 federal employees will work in the building, but they'll also be joined by University of Alabama staff and students who are doing research there. This partnership includes the university, the USGS, as well as NOAA's National Water Center, all working within distance and working together. What we've effectively done by bringing this facility here and USGS partnering with us is we're marrying uh, water modeling forecasting, which happens at the NOAA National Water Center, with water observations, which is happening here at the USGS Hydrologic Instrumentation Facility. And then we're giving those entities access to academic research via the University of Alabama. And retired U.S. Senator Richard Shelby says that all of this would not have been possible bringing the hydrologic instrumentation facility to the U.A. campus if folks at the university did not consider water as a national security need. Your reporter in Tuscaloosa, Kelvin Reynolds, WBRC 6 News on your side.